right, welcome back. M Capo Black Adonis Games. All right, today we're doing is working in audio. I have a lot of people always uh, compliment me on my audio. Um, I was in music for most of my life as far as like recording and things like that, so I know a whole lot about audio. Um, basically, I'm just going to give you a little quick rundown for people that don't understand audio or how to use it in the game besides the basics of course we all know you can go to a node and uh i mean we all don't know but all of us that have gotten to the point where we're messing with audio you pr i'm pretty sure by the time you got to that point you know that there are nodes that you play sounds from and things like that uh, the uh, trick that i use to my audio there's a few ways to do it but this is the easiest way that i uh, do it i literally have a f keep a bunch of audio organized here uh, this is all my uh, um, different audio files that I have in the game um, since I've started doing this. I haven't been doing this the entire time. I came up with this uh, pretty recently, as a matter of fact, and it's been working awesome. I can literally drag these folders in, and it'll just copy over the other stuff in the folder. Now, the key to this, you got to make sure that you have. Uh, wave files so if you have mp3s there are several free converters everywhere um i don't just give props to nobody or nothing but there are definitely a lot of them out there what i use myself is a tube catcher um that's a tube catcher you can try that um that works awesome um you can literally take video sound or whatever and convert it to so many formats that you will never need anything else to convert and it does it really fast and efficient so basically what i do is i you know make sure all my my sounds are what they should be um like for this one i did bot sounds and i have a bunch of glitch noises that i have going off when the bots get shot and injured and things like that and um right now they have some of the beast noises still and i want to replace those beast noises with uh some of these glitch sounds instead so what i did was i took one of the sounds you literally like this one you see here it says bot death cue I just took the original you go here you right click you pick create a queue when you create a queue you will get the blue node this is the one you want to work in because if you open these you'll see that these are just single sounds this is just the wave and you got you know control over what you want to do with it in there but that's all it is it's just the wave but if you open the queue which I already have done here you can see I have several sounds in here that's all these sounds that I just dragged in and I'm gonna actually do a save all right now and uh, so when you come in here you'll see I have the output node and what you're used to seeing is just a node connected straight to this okay but what I've done is I've uh, pulled out and this is all of your uh, different uh, ways that you can manipulate your sounds over here um, and what I've done is I've used uh, random node so I literally just dragged in random like that you just drag it right in and you can add pins to it and the output is always just one that brings all the randoms in and uh, it allows you to have a variety of sounds and not get bored in two seconds um, I think the limit for this I'm not I don't remember it exactly but it's got to be like 30 something I think it's like in the 30s or 30 something around 30 where you can't put any more sounds in so everyone has a limitation but then you can override overcome that obstacle by just creating another node and referencing that one in your blueprint as well as this one and you can even have way more sounds so that's pretty easy to do but you just basically hook up your sound which if I click this you'll see the sound here it's the independent noise and uh, basically these are the sounds that will fire off now what you do want to do as well is um if you notice that some sounds are extremely louder than other sounds or you know some sounds are really quiet um you can literally grab a mixer node here and put it between your sound and your output here because if you look here you can adjust this sound you have to go back to the actual regular sound double click on it and then you can adjust the master sound but it doesn't make sense to even mess with that you can just grab this mixer node here you don't have to have 
both inputs you literally can just break it down delete that one and just put one input go from here through the this mixer node to here now when you click the mixer node you'll see here that you have volume now I can make this sound way louder you have independent volume control so I can put this like on 10 and I'm gonna see what it Now if you double click on the node, it will tell you how loud it's going to actually be. That's pretty loud. I hope I didn't crack those eardrums or nothing. But that's pretty much how you do it. Um, delete this. So um, my sounds are all, like I said, I've been putting them through the studio. So my sounds are all pretty good. Um, this is the other part of the random node that's pretty cool is the weights. This is basically uh, you can set up which sounds have um seniority over the other sounds i don't know if that's really a good word seniority sounds like it's older it's been there longer i don't think that's the word i'm looking for but uh, uh which sounds are dominant in the node so basically it'll be the sound that will be preferred played before another sound so like if i took this sound and i moved it down even one notch if i moved it down to like say there it has a less chance of being played than all these other sounds now so that's pretty cool too. So if you got certain sounds that you want them to say more, maybe you, you dropped a phrase in, in here. You can literally, that's how you can control this. You could grab maybe a phrase or something that they, they, they speak or say, and then you can change these, the importance of that sound or the weight of that sound in the node. And it will basically trigger that sound more often or less often based on the number that you pick. So that's pretty much what how you do it um they do have a lot of you know effects in here i don't really do use many of the effects in the engine because um i just do it all in the studio first so i process my sounds first and then if i do hear something that i don't like or whatever um i just can literally just take the sound in, in the studio again uh process it again and then bring it out like these sounds are mostly not processed yet these are pretty cut and dry i have not ran these through the studio to give them the oomph that i want them to have in game because so, i'm still just prototyping typing but that's pretty much how y'all do it you know so in game like now you could play the cue and you'll see that it will randomly play the different sounds so now in game I literally, um, and I can show you uh, in one of my blueprints here. Let me go to the bot, or BP Monster. Yeah, BP Monster. Because that's the uh, parent of the monster class. So um, I just actually changed my monster. He's new now. Um, see him in game, but yeah, he's new now and he. Uh, I'm I'm liking this one. Um, I gotta do some things to the effects on him though. There are definitely some things that I don't that I still want to work out. But as you can see, like I like I do in my games, I have my characters come off random. Um, so every time they are formed, uh, the armor changes and things like that. So um, I'm pretty positive I can make way more variations of armor. Uh, colors and things as well, which I will be doing and maybe I'll do some videos on on a little bit more videos on that But this is what I have so far. So um, shout out to um, A lot of the creators uh, that create some of these uh, Assets uh, in epic some of them are really awesome. I really did like this one for my game So I got it. I hope a lot of people don't bite it, but I'm sure people will because it looks good um so anyway, in this, um, if I go to where the uh, creature actually dies, so uh, in this character, I would have to go here. We have uh, Death Impulse Ragdoll. Um, so I think at Ragdolls, when I produced the very beginning sounds, like here, you can see I have a Screamer cue which basically, uh, and a missile launch. So basically when this character goes into ragdoll mode, 
if it is a bot, which that is a parameter that I have here set, a uh, variable um, that I have set here, and if it's true, it's a bot, then it will go up here and do these effects, everything up here. So this is the bot effects, which I literally could just go, boop, comment it, and we're gonna change this to bot FX like that. All right, so now we know that all this stuff is for bot effects, but um, these are the nodes, and this is me showing you basically what you can do with it here. You got the volume multiplier, you got the pitch multiplier. A lot of times, depending on what type of effect it is, I may, uh, this is what I do often, is uh, I will go here and do a random node in uh, random float in range if it's an integer you can do a random integer in range you can use this I use this quite often and since the volumes already been uh, multiplied we're gonna do the pitch and so standard pitch is one so what I'll do is I'll do 1.5 all the way down to 0.5 so we'll get a variation every time it screams that'll give you even more so say you got six screams now you got six screams plus all this variation in this float range and you can take that even higher or lower um, I'm trying to keep it in a reasonable range um, that I think the effect will still sound decent um, the same thing I did here with the missile launch where it has a you know minimum and a maximum there I actually did this this one backwards so let me change that around I would not be getting what I expected like that all right but this just gives you that little you know randomness I do it on my explosions I use that everywhere um, but that's pretty much how you do it um, when you go in game um, when I shoot the bots and I'm gonna go ahead the bot is the first one to be produced here so I'll go into my test area right here that I set up I'm gonna grab my controller here and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna some bots real quick I think I'm coming off of a save. I'll be doing a video on all the updates that I've done as well. Try to switch my weapons here real quick. All right, I think I got something I can I can challenge the the bot with here. So. All right, so here's a bot. So when I shoot it. So you can hear the different, all the different sounds. That's pretty much how you do it. There's a scream. And then even the effects. Um, if you do see one explode, all of the effects are pretty much uh, random as well. I've made a variation. And I'll, I'll, I'll show how I do all of this stuff. As you can see now, I also have blood that I've added here. So Beast. Like I have a lot of things that I'm gonna show people that keep up with. Me. But I'm gonna just show you here, like slow motion. I can show you better. Like watch the streams on these. Uh, all these projectiles are different, different colors and different color schemes coming out. So and all the effects on every single beast that dies, the same thing, it's all random. So, I have a variety of effects. So that's pretty much how you do it, man. Um, you can use those random nodes with anything and you'll get an awesome outcome, trust me. Anyway, that's it, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna go ahead and get a box here. I'll get back with y'all. Y'all definitely uh, like and subscribe if I helped y'all out. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get up off of this computer. And uh, Well, I'm not going to get off the computer. I got way more work to do, but I'm going to get up off of this video. Um, appreciate y'all.